Praise God. Welcome everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life, Jesus Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. Let us thank God for God's generosity of the heart towards each one of us. We offer what we are going through right now. If there is any present crisis in our life, or if there is anything that's really heavy in our hearts, whatever the heaviness of our heart, or any brokenness, or anything that's really concerning this moment or this day to my personal life or to my family, let's offer at the foot of Jesus this moment along with the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother. Wherever, remember all the members of your family, especially your blood relatives, wherever they are, remember them, offer them spiritually, prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer, not only for us, for all the members of our family. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me. The powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart and my body. Use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. Let us read God's word together. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 8 onwards. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundred fall, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with the ears listen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, I am sure that you have just completed Gospel of Matthew chapter 13. Mainly, we have read about the parable of a sower. <coughs> parable of a sower. And now, if you could relate to this, uh, this sharing. Yesterday, we have heard, how can I evaluate my spiritual life? What I need to do? I need to look into my personal life and see what type of fruits that I bear. So we have heard fruits of the flesh and fruits of the spirit. I'm sure that you had a bit of time to reflect personally. And today, Jesus speaks to us. If you, you are all planted in a good soil, my dear brothers and sisters, whoever you are, we need to realize this big truth. We are God's wonderful, beautiful children and God planted you and me on a good soil. No doubt about this, good soil. But sometime we could produce 100, sometime we could produce 60 and 30. Now, why, why these are numbers? 
hundred, eighty, sixty, thirty. It speaks only one thing. God knows your circumstances. God knows your life situations. God knows your own personal life and its struggles and platforms. Sometimes, you know, think about a normal farmer. When he goes for farming and he intends or he, uh, he is waiting to receive hundredfold harvest. It's normal. And if he gets only 30, definitely he's going to be disappointed. We know this. But our Heavenly Father is not like that. A heavenly father, even though he planted you and me on a good soil, sometimes we can't produce good fruit all the time. This year, I can't produce hundredfold because I'm having this sickness. I'm really affected in relationship. I'm having this tough time at the workplace. God knows this. What I want to share with you today, God knows your life circumstances. God knows your life situations your platforms. So what you can do, try in, in spite of our burdens and difficulties and the, and the struggles that we face in our personal life, whatever we could bring, that may be 100, maybe 80 or 60, 30, even Heavenly Father is happy on me when I produce 30 percentage of goods, 30 goods, that means 30 percentage, if I'm trying to do well, in spite of all my burdens, my heavenly father speaks to me, you have done well, come and enter into my father's house. Sisters and brothers, we have a God who understands us. Nobody and no one in this planet can understand you in the same way, the way God understands that's why we need to return to God and love God more because he's happy when I, when I produce very little because of my life struggles. <clears throat> Thank you, Father, for this help. A humble prayer Enlighten our mind with the truth. Inflame our heart with your love. Enrich our life with more and more service. Lord, bless us with your wisdom. We pray help us to practice genuine love, which unites everyone together in Christ Jesus. Give us this day the grace to live now, as you intend, dear God, to smile even when a burden seem heavy, a heart seem broken, let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences. Above all, O merciful Father, let us suffer without regret for your holy will. Amen. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, this is the moment we offer our nothingness. We offer helplessness. Our life situations and our life struggles, whatever this may be, offer at the foot of Jesus. Let's pray this deliverance prayer. Son of God came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil. I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the world, nothing shall harm you. They have conquered evil by the blood of the Lamb. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. Are your servant, exercising the priestly ministry in the most holy name of Jesus, asking God's deliverance upon his children right now. Father God, we believe and profess that you are all-powerful and almighty God. You always listen to the prayers of your children. We surrender the totality of our life today, asking your healing hand upon our body and soul. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
all the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ. Let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of Jesus of Nazareth. Never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. I belong to God and I belong to heaven. Evil, you have no right and authority over me. Amen. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, let us intercede for the whole world, praying for world peace. Peace in our own hearts, our own families, in neighbor and around our neighborhood, at the workplace, wherever we are, whoever we meet, the peace of Christ overshadow over us. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Our Father who art in heaven, our Lord be your name, your kingdom come. You will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. We remember all the departed members of our families, particularly those souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> We offer people from our own families who are away from God, who deny God and reject God, and who are away from sacraments, and who speak all kinds of ill and all rubbish about the church and the priest, nuns and bishops. We pray, all those who persecute Christians, Lord, have mercy on them. We pray for their conversion. O oh, blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in him. Let us claim Psalm 91, the assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, I consecrate my life. To the most holy love of your two hearts, keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. There I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Markle, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Our guardian angels, guard us. We pray together. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Today we are especially praying for special children. If you know some of them, if your children is a special child, or if you know some of them, remember all the special children and we pray for them. <clears throat> Offer your personal intention. Get ready to receive priestly blessing, especially those who are going for exams, those are going for interviews. Those are really praying for and going for this interview. God is assuring you his help, especially those who are going for this interview today. He's assuring you his help. And those are disappointed and sad, we offer all the cancer patients and all the people of God requesting our prayers. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Matthew, chapter, uh, chapter 14. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14. I'm sure that you are reading God's Word. Please read this. And make it a point to share with your friends and families Use the social media, 
use the social media to reach out to more and more people, especially we are entering into the big week and holy week. This will be definitely a help. And happy to see some of you who have come for retreat yesterday and good that uh, we had a surrender day yesterday. Today at uh, in Melbourne in St. Andrews Parish, we are going to have a deliverance prayer, six o'clock onwards. We have so many priests coming for confession, six o'clock onwards. So if you know some of them, in a, uh, especially in Melbourne, your friends, families, bring everyone after confession and then we have mass and today we are going to do the deliverance prayer. So you are all most welcome to St. Andrew's Parish this evening, those who are in Melbourne. Uh, we'll continue our 20 Hail Marys for all the prayer intentions of this channel. Have a blessed day. Count my sincere prayers for all your prayer requests and intentions. May God bless you.